seriously, what is that? That is your big blanket. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Where does your big blanket stay? In the bag. How about I give you the small one? We'll do a trade. Yay! So when Hislet was little, little, she became attached to this uh, throw blanket we had. You never really know what your kid's gonna get attached to. It could be a toy. Uh, for her, it was that throw blanket. So when she first left for daycare, um, we didn't know what to do. So we just sent the whole throw blanket with her. <laughs> and they were like, yeah, that's not gonna work. So instead of keeping this entire huge six by six blanket or whatever it was, um, we had somebody cut it up and sew it into three different pieces. So we've actually got three different blankets. We got two small ones and a big one. And the big one stays in the bed. And the small ones really aren't used as much anymore. If you watch our old videos though, she pretty much always had that small blanket in her hands. You always gonna have that blanket, Hensley. We have found the blanket. Apparently it's been sitting over here the whole time next to this trolley. We just give it a little shake and it's uh, it's good to go. Hensley, we found your blanket. Don't throw it on the ground. So top priority today is get the floor down on the Airstream. Yesterday I got pretty much everything up. Today I've got somebody coming in to help so hopefully we can finish this in one day because having half finished projects and 150 square feet is not fun. <laughs> So we're gonna try to get that wrapped up today. I've got a couple other things going on to do. Marissa took a shift at the hospital today, so I'm actually watching Hensley today. <laughs> and I'm working on this project, uh, and we're supposed to go to something at my parents in the middle of the day, so got uh, quite a bit going on. But we're really hoping to get that floor done. First, we're gonna get some breakfast, though, at Grandma's house, since we're parked in a driveway. <laughs> Looks like my help's gonna be late. The good news is Marissa's mom's home today, so she's gonna be able to keep an eye on Hensley part of the day for me, <laughs> so I can go ahead and start chipping away at stuff. So some tips, I'm putting down flooring in an RV, and this isn't so much because I'm an expert or I know what I'm doing, it's just because I've learned a lot of different ways not to do this over time. <laughs> Number one would be don't be afraid to hire out some help. Um, I, I don't care to do things myself. I have done a lot of things myself, um, not just in the RV or also with houses in the past. Especially when it comes to being in an RV, I don't have the same tools I used to have when I had a house. And this is part of the reason I hire somebody like Bob, because they have these tools that you need for laying the floor. Could I go buy these tools and lay it all myself? Yeah, I could. But by the time I go and spend the money on these tools, and he's getting those chop saw right now, I no longer have a chop saw, I don't have a circle saw, I don't have any of these tools anymore. Uh, so for me, <laughs> since I don't have access to those tools, uh, this is just a good medium ground. We're at Hensley's other grandparents. She loves coming over here to the farm. Uh, they've got like a uh, produce stand and every year they do like a customer appreciation day where they have free food and people come and they can get pumpkins and all the usual stuff they sell for the produce. So we're gonna check that out. Let her spend some time with them. You're gonna leave some of those animals, Hensley. You sure you wanna take all that? Yeah. Come on, everybody's over here. See over here all the people? Look, have him. Uh, we'll see, come here. I got it. Go chicken, place planting. Come here. Chicken. On the iPad one. <laughs> I don't know about that.
Another tip when you're laying floor or really any RV project is think about where you're going to be doing the work at because you can't just whip out the power tools and start doing this in any RV park. Uh, some you can. You need to call ahead, check, let them know, hey, I'll be using <laughs> saws and that kind of thing. You know, there are certain times of the day I can do that to work on this project, which is going to take X amount of time. We've seen both sides of that. We've seen parks that there's nobody doing projects. And then we've been to parks where there's a lot of full-time residences and uh, they're doing projects here and there throughout the park. A good solution, if you can do it, is find someone you know and stay with them um, like we're doing with Marissa's mom right now. Number one, you don't have to worry about the noise level necessarily, especially if it's like where we're at now where there's not really like a neighborhood around us. And you uh, also, if something goes really wrong and you can't even stay in your RV for some reason, you can, uh, not saying that would ever happen, but if you mess up with the power, mess up with the plumbing, which I've done, <laughs> uh, you've got a backup plan to be able to stay in the house. So far, everything with the smart core has been good. Uh, the floor's looking, oh man, it's looking great. Loving it. It's just a beautiful floor. And these pieces too, when you buy them, they're not like all the same. You've got a variety of textures with each piece and not just the, um, the color of the pieces of wood, but you can actually feel they've got um, like texture you can feel in the wood too. So if you like to walk around barefoot or if that's your thing to get on the floor and uh, touch your laminate floor, I don't know. But pretty good stuff. Way more texture. Our, our other flooring was pretty much, each piece was pretty close to the same. And then it didn't have much of any uh, texture to it as far as the feel of it. When you go and look for a sample at Lowe's or Home Depot, a lot of times have these tiny little, just like four by four <laughs> little things. What are you supposed to do with that? You know, you bring it home, you lay it on the floor and you're like, oh, okay. Uh, you need a bigger sample than that. So don't be afraid. They'll take the boxes back if you keep them in good shape and you know, reseal it or whatever you gotta do. I'm not saying just go crazy and buy a ton of different kinds, but narrow it down to the one or two you want, then buy a box of each one and then lay them out on the floor and see what it actually looks like spread out a little bit. Another tip would have to do with the quality of the floor you're laying. Uh, we laid a cheap floor to start with because honestly I knew we were going to be taking that thing up at some point uh, to put it in the bedroom as well. Don't be afraid to spend a little bit more on a floor. It's a small space, doesn't cost near as much as it would like in a house for the flooring. You might as well get something really good. <laughs> she's playing her Moana music because she's got her boat out, right? Because you've got to think, compared to a house, the amount of wear and tear, balancing, drastic changes in temperature, all that going on, uh, you need some really good flooring if you're going to put it into an RV or it just won't hold up. And so we went from this light gray floor before to this uh, brown floor we're going for now. And what it's doing, or what we think it's going to do once it's done, we're hoping it doesn't do too much of this, but it's going to uh, add more warmth to the Airstream. It's changed the feel from like a... Uh, a modern cool color scheme over to um, maybe look a rustic warmer kind of color scheme. I mean you just can't get it all. You've got to figure out for you what feels like the right combination of coolness versus warmth and we're hoping that because we already have the white walls and everything and the white cabinets we're hoping by adding this brown to the floors it's going to just add just enough warmth to where it's the right combination for us. And another pro for the brown is it doesn't show dirt nearly as bad as the gray does. So it took us a day longer than we thought it would, but we were done installing the floor and uh, I think it looks pretty good. Definitely gives the RV a different feel from what it had before. What do you think, babe? I really like the floor. I'm still processing it, I guess. It's just, it's a big change. Um, and I'm probably gonna have to change the decor in here. Uh... <laughs> I don't know. I think it, it gives that extra pop and character and warmth. Um, maybe something I felt like was missing. I don't know. So it's just, it's a big change right now, but what do you think? You like it? I like it. I just knew once we did this, you would want to change things. So 
<laughs> it's a small space, so it's easily changed out, and I think we're just kind of finding our groove. And I love that the Airstream gives us that ability that we can make it our own. I think the bedroom came out pretty good. We still got this tiny bit of carpet you can see under here that I've got to pull out or do something with. It's actually pretty hard to see. It's not bad. And then it just wraps all the way around instead of having the carpet. We still got this carpet on the walls, unfortunately, uh, and more carpet on the walls. <laughs> How many people can say they have carpet on the walls and then more carpet on We're the walls? We're an elite group. But yeah, it's clean. Um, it looks great on the white. I think it is going to warm up this place. It definitely has a different feel to it. Floor, um, it laid down really well. And we'll be the guinea pigs for this. We did not do any quarter round, any sort of molding, nothing. It's snug against all the sides everywhere in the RV, which Marissa loves. She did not like the way that quarter I round I know. Looked. I was down scrubbing that all the time. We do, yeah. I didn't think about that because like when you're, you got a small space mm -hmm. like this, your feet are always, even though they don't stick out much, um, you're always stepping on the top of it. And so you can see the dirt on top of the quarter round because it was white a lot. We won't have that problem I don't know, anymore. No, and it kind of, it just open. it looks more clean line, more mainstream. It kind of mm -hmm. opens it up because the quarter round is taken away. I mean, it's just a little bit of space, but when you have a small space, it's... It really makes a difference. So I love that, that that we didn't have to do that. The concern is, even though research said this shouldn't expand or contract, if it does, we're going to see it. I mean, we got this thing tight around the walls and stuff. And so we'll have to make adjustments if that happens. But uh, the good news is for you guys, if you're looking at doing a floor, uh, you get to watch and see what happens with uh, the smart core floor and see how it holds up uh, with wear and tear and with expanding and contracting. Because don't worry, we'll let you know if... Um, Something happens with it. <laughs> but right now, without moving around, without changes in weather, it's looking great. And those are some of the things we've learned from making changes in floors, which unfortunately we've done um, quite a bit, seems like, between houses and RVs and all that kind of thing. But Like I love decorating. I love changing things and um, personalizing it. And I mean, that's, that was kind of tricky when, when I used to go all out in our house. And then when we moved into the RV and I, you know, it's hard. You can't hang things up like you did before. You can't use the same things you did in a house. So this is kind of my way of still making it feel like home and getting to do the, the decorating that I enjoy. And it's kind of the, the compromise, I guess. Just another change. Just another we're, change. We're used to change. <laughs> way easier than changing RVs, right? Yes, we've, we've done that too. <laughs> and we've got some other changes we hope we get to in this. I'm not going to talk about those because I'm not 100% sure if we're going to do those yet. But there oh, is possibly we're some. Do some. Okay. So, <laughs> all right. so we're going to do some other changes. I haven't showed you my, my board. My board? My Pinterest board. Love Pinterest. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, I guess we're going to call it a night unless she's got something she wants me to work on starting tonight. Hopefully not. Good. Okay, I appreciate that, man. All right, we'll catch you guys later.